Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of LS PDFR. Today we're going to do a little patrol out of Los Santos as the sheriff. We're going to kind of stick around. We're going to head down 68 towards uh, Sandy Shores. We're going to stop off in Sandy Shores. We'll work our way to Grapeseed and then uh, we might work our way up to Polito depending on what's going on. But uh, we're not really going to stay in one area. We're going to try to go all over. We're going to try to stay out of the city because we did that last time. So we're just going to kind of patrol everywhere. See if we can see any vehicle violations or anything. And uh, see what kind of callouts we can get. Really, dude? You're going to cut the yellow line with your super rusty emperor? Go ahead and try to catch up to this guy. We'll run his plate. See if there's anything coming back. But that was just... Look at this thing. This thing's a hunk of junk. And he's doing it again. Cutting it, cutting the double yellow again. Who is it registered to? Mary, Mary, uh, zero, zero, Charles no, Northman. Go ahead and light him up. Have a chat with him. Oh god, this is not a good spot, is it? These people aren't going to go around, are they? Nope. Alright. Well, we don't really have much of a choice. We don't have a lot of places to go, so... Go ahead and have a chat with him real quick. Hello. Why don't you give me your ID? Run your name. Cross the double yellow twice. Which is really not good. So, uh... We'll go ahead and make sure he's valid. We're also going to make sure he is, uh... Not drinking. So, he is valid. Doesn't have any active warrants. Before we chat with him again, we're just going to... Make sure he's not drinking. I am going to write him a citation for the... Crossing the double yellow. No alcohol in his system. That's interesting. We're going to give him a $200 citation. And, uh... Uh, yeah. Careless driving, for sure. That's definitely what it is. Um... Oh. There was some text on the bottom of the screen. I don't know if I've seen that before. Anyway. Uh, yeah. So, simple traffic stop. Oh, God, don't need that. Simple traffic stop. We're going to go ahead and just flip around here. We'll start working our... Okay, hold on, I 100% hear shots. Oh my god, dude with a sniper rifle. Put it down. Stop with the fire extinguisher every time I get out. Who is this guy? Why does he have a sniper rifle and what is he doing? Alright, stop. Drop the gun. No. Drop the gun. This is your last chance. If you get up and shoot that gun, I will shoot you down. You get on the ground. You stand up and shoot that damn thing again. The fuck is wrong with you? Are you the person that these, over these last couple fucking episodes have been just shooting random guns every time I'm trying to do stuff? Like in the background, you just hear random shots. All right, nothing of interest on him. We're going to go ahead and get him in the back of our vehicle here. We'll run his name, too. See if he's wanted or anything. Don't even know why he's out here, why he has a sniper rifle, what the hell is he's doing, but... At least we got somebody out here doing something stupid, because there's been so many episodes where I've just heard gunshots in the distance, and... You never catch up to them, you never find out where they are, so we got one of them. Now we just gotta get the other 600 that have been doing it around San Andreas. So... Alright, so... He's just gonna walk right past me. I'm going to go ahead and get my vehicle here. There, Oh, there we go. All right. So, let's run his name. See if he's, uh... What is this? God, that last name is a little ridiculous. Uh, so he's valid. Doesn't have any active warrants. Not really sure why he is doing what he's doing, but, uh... He's going to be going to jail today for shooting a sniper rifle on the side of the road. At... Apparently nothing. I didn't really see anything he was shooting at, so... Anyway, I'm going to call for a prisoner transport to come pick him up. Once he gets picked up, I'm going to head back down this road towards 68. And then we will, uh... Oh, Jesus, dude. And then we will, um... See what else we can, uh... See what else we can do in this episode. What are you doing? Are you going to... Oh, God, I think this is all fucking it up. Hmm. What if I move my car forward? Would that help you out? If I move my car just a little bit... Like right here? Ah, there you go. Okay, you're good. All right. 
citizens report illegal activity. All right, we got reports of a possible hooker uh, on the Fort Zancudo side road here. Uh, I don't know how we know the hooker's name, but her name, Christabel, wait a second. Christabel something. I arrested Christabel in the last episode, I think? Possibly? I'm pretty sure I did. Um, so yeah, we're going to work our way over there. Just take this dirt road here real quick. And uh, we'll work our way around. So I'm not sure how they na nailed down the uh, that this was a hooker and what her name is, but uh, we have a lot of information going in this call, so we'll head over there. See if we can uh, make contact with her and find out what she's doing. Of course, if uh, she's not really doing anything illegal, there's not really much we could do. We didn't see anything happening. You can't just call someone in and be like, they're a hooker, and then the cops come and arrest them. That's not really how it works. you got to see it happening or have some reasonable suspicion that that is what was taking place. But we'll figure it out. We'll search her. We'll see if she's wanted. We'll make sure she has nothing on her. We'll make sure she's not drinking, all that sort of stuff stuff. Why would that be driving out here? That's very suspicious. Hmm. That's very strange. Okay. Coming up on scene. I don't know. Why would you be out here? <laughs> Is this a place that you want to be as a hooker? Just in the middle of nowhere? Okay. All right, so we're going to wait for a vehicle to come and pick her up. It's going to be pretty easy to see which vehicle is going to pick her up because this is the only road that you go in and out on. So, I don't know. Maybe it was that uh, Lamborghini that we saw. That would that's that would explain what he was what he's doing out here, but I don't know. We're going to wait and find out though. See if we can get uh, somebody out here. Is anybody doing anything? Or what's happening? We're not in the most secret position here. <laughs> hmm. I wonder if I go and like hide over here. There we go. Ah. Hidden. Totally hidden. What's happening? Nobody's showing up. Nobody's showing up because this is probably the worst spawn location for something to spawn. Oh. Ah ha ha. What is that now? That looks like a uh, Lamborghini that we saw earlier. And she is going to go up to the driver's side window. Looks like she's talking with the driver. And she is going to be getting into the vehicle. So as soon as they go by... I'll pull out. I'll get behind them. Oh, God, they are taking off. Okay, so as soon as they go by, we'll just go ahead and... Uh... Are they taking off? Oh, shit. Yep, we're going to be in pursuit. This guy is not stopping. I did not suspect this guy was going to take off. We're going to run the plate, see who the registered owner is. We should have performed a traffic stop on this vehicle before we got to that hooker, but... I might have messed things up. This dude is not going to be able to hold on to this car on this road. He is going to crash and kill himself. Uh, Devin McCordo. No flags on the vehicle. All right. Let's go ahead and stick with him here. Or attempt to. That car is going to be pretty fast. As soon as he hits pavement, we're going to have a problem. Let me go ahead and actually... I'm going to call an air support unit. See if I can get some... Uh, back up from the air, because this thing is a lot faster than my Vic. We did just hit and run on that uh, BJXL back there. Hitting the barrier, hitting the, oh god. Is he stopping? You getting out? You done? Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Get down. You too. Down on the ground. No, 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 no. Get down. Get down. All the way on the ground. Okay, she's down. He's down. Let's go ahead and place her in cuffs. Then we'll place him in cuffs. And, uh... Yeah, Christabel Moore. I stopped at Christabel in the previous episode. 
Her last name wasn't Moore, though. It was something else. And uh, Devin McCordo. Okay. Let's go ahead and search them both. Jesus Christ. I'm sorry, what? I found a homemade grenade. You wanna touch? In the Just car, ask. it seems like. Possibly. Was that in the car? I don't know. Let's go ahead and get both of them in the back here. And we'll run their names. We'll run Devin McCordo. Because, uh, actually, let's go ahead and run Krista Bellmore. And then we'll run Devin McGordo. So she doesn't have any warrants, and he also doesn't have any warrants. He's also valid as well. Um, is he going to get in the car? Or what is he doing? Why don't you get in too? There we go. I'm going to breathalyze him, make sure he has not been drinking. All right. How you doing? Devin, have you been drinking? Uh, yes. You're over the legal limit. That might explain why you're having a little bit of trouble keeping that car on the road. What about you? Have you been drinking? I doubt you have, but might as well check it out. Uh, she has, but she's not over the legal limit. So we're going to go ahead and call prisoner transport. Come pick up the both of these two. We're going to finish the search on the vehicle. Um, so I found a homemade grenade on Devin. I found some beef jerky and a broken phone charger. That was inside the car. But what I actually pulled off of him was a homemade grenade. Which is actually really not good. Backpack in the trunk. See if there's anything on the driver's side. And a train ticket to Los Santos. Okay, so we're going to call for a uh, tow truck to come out here. Tow this vehicle. Prisoner transport's here picking them up. And uh, what we'll do is we'll wait for the tow truck. As soon as the tow truck gets here, we'll go ahead and shoot right back on 68 right here and uh, continue our patrol. Attention all units. Reporting. All right, we got reports of an intoxicated person in Grand Sonora Desert. They want us to respond code 2 over there. So that's what we'll do. About two blocks away. Go ahead and see what's happening over here. Probably just some guy walking in the street intoxicated. Uh, if we can, I would really like one of the scripts out there to be able to call the uh, call a taxi. There was one like that for GTA 4, and it was actually really nice. Because then on an intoxicated person call, you could uh, just call a taxi. What are you doing? Are you running from the police? Why? And you also, you're also you tripping, too. Why don't you just go ahead and just stop? Stop the run. Don't give yourself another charge. I'm not going to charge you for it because it was the worst attempt at running I've ever seen. You got 20 feet and you tripped. So, <laughs> Austin Brown, you're just going to... We're just going to get you for the... Uh, well, actually, I don't even know what, you're, what we're going to get you for right now. Let's search you. We'll run your name. We'll see. And also, we'll see how intoxicated you really are. That was the initial call. But uh, we'll see. He has nothing on his person, so... We'll see what comes back to that. Uh, let's go and start running his name. Austin Brown. And uh, he is valid. Doesn't have any active warrants. So, let's go ahead. Oh, his birthday's coming up. Uh, April 28th. All right, let's go ahead and just breathalyze him. See if his, uh... Nope, no alcohol in the system. Hmm. That's a little bit strange. Well, the only thing I can really do... He doesn't have any alcohol in his system. He doesn't have any active warrants. He doesn't have anything on him. I don't really have any reason to keep him, besides that I showed up and he tried to run. Other than that... I don't really have much on him, and I'm not going to mark him down for trying to run. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and release him. I don't really have a reason. I'm going to stop him real quick, though, and I am going to issue him just a simple uh, warning. Let him know, hey, when you see the police, don't, don't run. It. it doesn't help anybody. Ah! Fuck. No. I saw you walking towards my car. Yeah, he's fine. He's not intoxicated. I don't know who called that in, but... Uh, Something tells me they were not accurate on that. So, uh, we're going to go for an, a little bit more, and uh, we'll see. Uh, is this guy wearing a helmet? No. No helmet at all. Let's go ahead and pull this guy over. Have a chat with him about the helmet laws in uh, San Andreas. We'll go ahead and light him up. we got a big shoulder here. Oh, now he wants to put the helmet on. Now he wants to. Emilio Mendoza, he has, his uh, license is expired, apparently. He has two citations, so 
We're just gonna confirm that uh, suspended license. Hello. How you doing? Why don't you go ahead and give me your ID? Driving without a helmet on, so I can put it on as you were getting pulled over. Definitely isn't gonna help you get out of a ticket. All right, Emilio. Emilio. Emilio Mendoza. That name sounds very familiar. His license is in fact suspended. Okay, so he's not just driving on an expired license, he's driving on a suspended license, which is really not good. Before we pull him off the bike for driving on a suspended, we're gonna breathalyze him. Yes, I know. That is the most not. <laughs> Jesus, he has been drinking. He's not over the legal limit, but he has been drinking. Uh, what was that? I thought I heard something. I'm gonna have him step out of the vehicle. Quickly, we're just gonna detain him for now. We might not arrest him. He is driving on, well, he is driving on a suspended. It's not, I can't, you can't, uh, you can't drive on a suspended. Expired, possibly. I can see how someone could let their license expire and not know it, um, but suspended, that's just, I don't, you can't really get away with that. I mean, you clearly you've done something wrong where they felt like you shouldn't have your license anymore and they've suspended it, and you're continuing to drive. So, that is a lot worse than it letting it expire. A bottle of Advil. We're gonna search the bike real quick. Uh, let's go ahead and while we're doing that, we're gonna call for a prisoner transport. Come pick him up. I've decided he is gonna go to jail. Oh, now he's definitely gonna go to jail. Seven grams of heroin on the motorcycle. Uh, yeah, if, you're, if you have seven grams of heroin, and you're trying to fly under the radar, and you're riding a motorcycle, uh, wear a helmet. Plain and simple. Wear a helmet. So he's gonna be going to jail, and uh, I'm gonna tow the motorcycle, and uh, I'm actually gonna go ahead and wrap this episode. He wrap wrap this episode up here. Uh, remember to check the description. All the links to all the mods I'm using will be there, and also remember to hit the like button. It really does help me out. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time, which is where I will make sure that I spend the time. I'll update my game completely. Excuse me, I'll update my game completely. We'll be on the newest version of everything. Tow truck totally didn't work. But yeah, so we'll I'll, I'll spend the time, I'll update my game, so that on the next episode, we'll be fully updated and everything. It's been long enough, time to update, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!